what's up i'm in florida so right now we're actually getting hit by the hurricane eta eta basically we're currently feeling the outside winds nothing too crazy yet so since i'm home i did some grocery shopping just to prepare for the worst don't think it's gonna be anything serious but you never know so i went grocery shopping and i think i've been mentioning to you guys that my pantry needs a lot of help i've been buying containers almost every weekend and during the week too i've been running to tj maxx clearing out their shelves with all their containers so i have them all stocked up groceries that i did today does not fit in the pantry if not i would just be throwing everything on top of each other so i decided why not do my home edit video today why not but yeah that's what i'm going to be doing today just reorganizing reorganizing my pantry i bought some diy shelves from the dollar store and i'll show you guys it's basically poster boards i bought the adhesive um i don't know what that's called i'll show you guys let me show you so this is what i am talking about so i got some poster boards yeah and then I found this at the dollar store today. What's this called? Oh, shelf and drawer liner. So what I'm actually gonna be doing, look, it's wood, it goes great with the house. So I'm gonna be covering the poster boards with that and then putting this on top of the shelves in the pantry. Um, so a little DIY, save some money because what I really wanna do is not in the budget right now. And then I actually found these little tags from the dollar store. Aren't they so cute? Um, so I want to stick them on the plastic containers. Cute, right? We can pretend that we're just friends, yeah. But who are we kidding? This was my first time doing this little DIY and if you can see I literally grabbed anything in sight like this kitchen knife to try to cut this poster board because nothing was working but thankfully 1-800-AS-DALE showed up right when I was doing this. So he did the cutting for me with the box cutter that he had and he actually gave me some ideas on how I can put this poster boards on the shelves without doing so much cutting. Only you move me to the rhythm
it. Yeah. In a straight line? Yeah. Straight line. You want, by what you got? This is, so you want me to cut this in a straight line. This. This this is what you're talking about, right? Yeah. You can't see the straight line right there, look. From end to end. Go ahead, get out of here. <laughs> go home. Go home. Go home. Okay, go home. Did you call me cause you had to? Cause you know I throw your suitcase out the way. So what he was showing me there was that the poster boards, you could just fold it and then just with the box cutter, score it a little bit so that way you don't have to cut it completely and it just completely folds underneath the shelves instead of me doing all the cutting that I was going to do. So it was much easier doing it that way. I left that duty on to him, so he did all the cutting and then I just went ahead with just covering this up with the that adhesive paper and then finishing up my home edit project in the pantry that I had going on. While I was emptying out the pantry, I did try to take as much things as I could that were in boxes. So like you've seen the little bite snacks, I took those out just now, but earlier um, the ramen noodles, I showed that, me taking them out of the boxes. And I did that just so that way I have everything laid out on the countertop. I can see what I have and where I wanna put, or what I wanna put together in a container. So I decided to just split everything up, you know, all of the snacks, the pastas, I put it together, the breads. Um, so that's why I did that. Just laid everything out on the countertop so I can see what I have to work with.
guys are getting some kind of motivation in today's video to tackle your pantry or your closet or any space in your house that looked how my pantry looked at the beginning of this video. Um, I know that I was procrastinating for a little bit to get this done, but it was also finding containers um, because I was clearing out the shelves at TJ Maxx. Like every other day I would go and I would clear out the shelves. Um, so just slowly I had to stock up. I did not want to go to the container store just because of how pricey they are. So I settled with TJ Maxx. It was the same thing, but just a less price. Literally these containers were like $2.99, $3.99, I think the most I paid for one of those containers were like $7.99. And I think those were like the bigger ones and that was only two of them that I was able to find. Um, but if you're watching this video and organizing your pantry or closet or any space or even just cleaning, comment down below, let me know that you're watching and what I motivated you to do today or you know just to tackle today. Aren't you tired of the drama? You use your words like they are knives mm -hmm. I don't need that type of drama And trying to be tough all the damn time You try to make yourself feel better by taking me down Once I fell but now I'm strong, I'm ready for the real You guys are wondering what it looks like outside in this middle of this quote unquote ETA hurricane. I should have showed you guys what it looks like outside and I completely forgot about it. But it was just a rainy day. It was nothing crazy at all. Um, just a little bit of wind. And um, can you believe they had canceled school early this, uh, this day that I was recording this and then the following day they canceled school completely. And the following day, um, it was just cloudy, and then by noon, it was sunny outside, hot, just a regular day. Um, so yeah, it always happens. I don't know why it always happens in this part of Florida where we're always getting hurricane threats, but nothing ever happens. Knock on wood. <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty much always how it works out or if we do get some kind of part of the storm, it's nothing major.
trying to figure out what is the most efficient way to set up this pantry so I decided to just have one side set up for strictly just the girls things that they can have um, at their reach so like their chips their snacks their quick meals and then on the other side I decided to put what I use for cooking which is like my beans the potato sauce uh, not potato sauce tomato sauce <laughs> um, you know the baking supplies all that stuff um, that I would use on the regular and not them. Don't take it personal. We just building. It's the season, a foundation. Make a name for generations. Please and make a and take a break or a little vacation and chase and blues away. Always posting a pictures, trying to look like you're winning, or look like you always be working, soaking the moments you live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't ask me, cause baby, I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. Alright, guys, so we finished the pantry. What do you guys think? I am completely obsessed. Look at this. Totally different pantry. It was crazy before. So let me show you guys what I did. I put all of the aluminum foil, Ziploc bags down there, trash bags, paper towels. The first row I put just miscellaneous things down here. I have the extra beans that did not fit in one container, just breadcrumbs. Um, refills for plastic um, silverwares that I have on top of the counters, water, breakfast milk that the girls drink every morning so I put it in their reach. The next row I put all of their snacks together. There are chips, ramen noodle, they can eat that all day if I let them. Um, snacks, more snacks, more snacks, <laughs> um, spaghettis, mac and cheese. Up here on this row, I put all of the pasta. So pasta, pasta, and then salsa for the pastas. And then the beans. Um, actually, no, that's not beans. <laughs> tomato sauce, tomato paste, beans, baked beans, more beans here with some rice that I got from um, HelloFresh. And then down here, I have canned meats, milk, mashed potatoes, pancakes and oatmeal, powder drinks, and some cake mix. And then here I put everything together, just the breads, the um, peanut butter and jelly, and honey, and then I put just the plates and cups there, easy reach for the girls as well. And then all the way at the top I just have the cereal and then the rice that has to stay up there actually I have to push it back because if my youngest sees that she would drink it all day long Pediasure comment down below if your little ones love Pediasure um, I know both of my girls love it but the little one she's three year old and she does not get what no means <laughs> so and then you know the mommy and daddy drinks up there so yeah guys, what do you guys think about my pantry transformation? I am completely obsessed and in love. I want to, you know, still get more containers. I want to get rid of the old containers I had. So that white one, those two black ones, and then those two down there. Um, I want everything eventually to be clear containers. But yeah, I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments down below 
what you guys think, if this motivated you guys to um, get your pantry in order and together or to just watch the home edit. That's